Another dystocia that needs an ass assistance to correct would be a calf that's upside down. There's two reasons why a calf may be presented into the birth canal upside down. One would be that the calf itself is just upside down. The second reason would be if the cow presenting the calf has a uterine torsion. So in order to distinguish the two, for a uterine torsion, you could try distinguishing it by inserting your hand into the birth canal and into or towards the uterus at the pelvic inlet and determining that you find that the uterine tissue or uterine body wall is actually twisted or turned over one side or the other. They can occur to the left or to the right. It makes no difference. If that's the case, then you have to possibly do a more invasive type of procedure to correct the uterine torsion. If you can't determine that the uterus is twisted by, per vagina, then one way that could help you is to do a rectal exam in those animals. And once you do a rectal exam and you reach beyond the pelvic inlet, you will find that the broad ligament of the cow is pulled cross midline from in the direction of the twist. So if the twist was to the left when viewing from behind the cow, we would find that the cow's left broad ligament is pulled towards the right of, and crossing midline. That's another way to determine that you have a uterine torsion. Again, that's going to take a different set of uh, procedures to correct that position. Today what we're going to discuss is the calf being upside down and presented into the birth canal. In this case, if you examine this calf, you will find that the head of the calf is there and the two front feet of the calf is there. So our presentation is the presentation we would like, which would be anterior presentation. If the legs are extended straight and the calf's head is between the two front legs, then we find in this particular dystocia that our posture is also correct. But what is not correct is the arrangement of position. So our position is wrong. And the way we determine position is the dorsum of the calf's head in relationship to the cow's spinal column. And what we find is that the dorsum or the pole of this calf is in more close relationship to the floor of the pelvis or the pubic bone. So it's in dorsal pubic position. We would prefer for the head to be in dorsal sacral position. The another helpful indicator right when you arrive at the dystocia to tell you that something is very wrong is if, if you only have the calf's feet outside of the cow's vulva, you will find that if the sole of the calf's feet are pointing or the surface of the sole is up and facing the sky, you generally have, if it's an anterior presentation, an up-down calf, side calf. If you have a posterior presentation, then it's in the normal position, but it's just a, a posterior presentation. So in this case, because the head is present and we've determined that we have front limbs by flexing our joints, we know that even though the soles of the calf's feet are facing the sky, it's an upside down calf. In order to correct this malposition, we're going to have to basically repel most of the calf out of the birth canal and into the uterus. So a forceful repelling of the calf into the uterus. And then once we have the calf into the uterus, that gives us a chance to identify either the legs, the, the, the shoulder of the legs, or the withers of the calf, and gently try to turn the calf over so that we get the calf in the normal um, position. Uh, I'm sorry, pos uh, yeah, position. The other thing that you could do is actually crisscross the calf's legs. So you could actually take the two calf's legs and just start to crisscross them and just spin them on each other until you actually rotate the calf's body um, over and get the calf into a more normal position for delivery. Sometimes the head may be left behind even though you get the feet 
correct it in a more normal position and then you can easily go back and get the head and bring it into the normal position for delivery in anterior presentation, dorsal sacral position.